Um, so today I'm going to show you some different things. As usual, I, I want to try to focus more on textures. Um, maybe some reflections, some textures. Uh, what else could be? Uh, gestures. Things that look great in black and white. Like, like black and white is another, it's another language. So I think it's a good opportunity to show you that. Kurdelemin uçları yeşil eden ben ayrılmam eşimden eşimden Well the texture of the water is really nice So actually I'm gonna lower my charge speed Let's see if I can get some blur I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to reduce the uh, ISO Let's see Yeah it looks nice I think For instance, here the windows are pretty dirty, so maybe I can, I can instead of focusing on the background, I can focus on the on the on the window. So it's the same scene, but if you instead of focus on the background, you focus on the glass, you get all the texture of the glass. Very nice. Maybe I'm gonna raise my ISO to get um, to close my aperture a little bit. Otherwise, I'm not getting much information there. And I want to fit more things in focus. I'm gonna focus on, on the glass here instead of the focus on the background. So focusing on the background, focusing on the glass. frame is filled, filled with information, the right side too, but I think it's missing something. So I selected four shots to analyze what works, what doesn't, 
it might be good for you guys to see the way I kind of go through my work and and see what works and sometimes what doesn't, you know. It's good to be able to recognize this kind of thing so that you're able to create, create your own work. For instance, for this case, I choose uh, two shots that I'm really kind of happy with, but they are almost there, almost like really good, but there are a couple of things that I don't like. Uh, the third one, it just doesn't work. It's missing a lot of a lot of things. And the last one is a shot that I'm really happy with. So to start with, this is a shot um, I took in a tea place. And there are right away a lot of things that are, work really well. Like um, the look of this man, you know, the leading lines um, on this side on this side as well, the frame, the, everything is guiding my eye the look of this man here sitting, you know, on the left side everything is guiding me towards the middle part of the frame that is this one mm -hmm. so that, that works really well um, there are many strong elements like the, the, um, the tablecloth, you know, the texture, the color is really good so a lot of things are working, but I don't think there is enough separation between this person behind this man. So there is kind of an overlap in there. An overlap in there, and also this man is a little bit in the shade. But especially this overlap in here, what really bugs me. And, and I wish uh, this person here wouldn't be here, or this other man here wouldn't be there. So this overlapping for me kind of kills the shot a little bit. It's good, but not good enough. Um, also, maybe I should have used a slower shadow speed, maybe, and close my aperture or raise my eyes so to get more depth of field and get this man a little bit more in focus. He's a little bit um, out of focus, as you, if you can see. You know, the focus is in the middle ground, which I, I, I like, but um, I needed more him more in focus. So. Almost there, but not quite. The, the, the scenario is fantastic. The textures, you know, the colors work really well. The next shot. Um, this for me is also almost there. So, you know, there is a nice figure here on the right side. A figure is a shadow, but you can recognize it is the head of someone. Maybe I could have taken this person a better way so that you see, you know, more details on his face, but uh, it's almost there and then there is a nice you know, here gesture you know the water you know the it's like almost like an arabesque you know going which is not easy to find um, this man was cleaning was throwing some water to for the dust I think um, this one of the few things that it works because of color you know it's green color and most of the things are red around here so it's kind of a contrasty color works really well the men the contrast of the men, the two figures here, one man sitting down, the other one just like um, uh, talking on the phone, but with a little bit more energy, and, you know, his arm is really good, you know, and he's looking this part of the frame that is kind of empty, but as if he's looking that side, there is like a story that is kind of on the right side, you not see, but you wonder maybe what's going on. The thing that it doesn't work for me is the it's missing some elements here in the mid-ground like in this area around here it's, there's nothing there a part of the texture of a um, street so there is a, this one here maybe two but he's almost at the same plane as the first and then there is the th third around here and I wish there was a fourth element here like a cat something like a child playing but especially that would have been nice to have some element here like a cat or a child maybe a, a, a man would have been too big for to fill this gap here and that's not working uh the shot is almost there but again like it's, it's missing something to be you know great <laughs> anyway um then there's this one um i really love the colors of this shot you know it works what I don't like right away is that the girl and the boy, they are both look, looking at 
opposite side of the frame so they're not closing the frame maybe if they were looking to the other side it would close the frame a little bit better it would bring you inside of the frame and not just taking you, know, you out of the frame um, there's that but also here uh, there's a nice little, little lines you know the composition here I really like but um, but in this middle part here, there's nothing. So it's like a, if there was someone, you know, a balloon or maybe, I don't know, someone, you know, go walking down the stairs, that would have been better. So it's, it's like a dead end to me. It's like a, a nice subframing. I have one, two subframe and maybe a third element subframe here. It would have been nice, you know, but now it feels empty. So... Yeah, I think this shot is missing too many, too many, too many things to, for me to consider, like uh, even posting or, or keeping it. And you're probably gonna delete it, you know, after after I, I do this because there's nothing I can do with it. It's a nice idea. I probably gonna come back to the same place and try again. Hopefully, find some children playing the same spot. Maybe I'm luckier next time. But yeah. It's almost there, like a lot of elements are good, the colors are good, but it's missing a lot of things, you know. And the fourth, um, th this shot was actually a blessing. That day was really cloudy and somehow it just opened at the best part of the, <laughs> the day when the light was at its best and it just opened for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's like, such a blessing, you know. I was given a workshop and I was really sad because the guys had two days of rain, um, so then it was Sunday, last day of workshop, and I really needed, you know, I wanted to finish in good spirits, but and I was really, really sad, you know. Uh, but then this, you know, sky just opened at the right moment with a beautiful light, and we found the children playing with them, um, whatever you call them, comets, I don't know. Um, so, to start with, the figures, all the figures are clearly recognizable. You know, you can really tell what's going on. You know, you have a figure here of a child, um, you have another child here, and the background really helps to isolate those elements. You know, here the hands, you can tell exactly, you know, they are against the sky, so they are very clear. You have the mask here as well, so you know, more elements, you know, giving more space, filling space. But also there are leading lines that work really well, like this leading line here, here, also the shadow here. So everything is bringing me to the mid part of the frame. Um, but also the child is, is here, like feeling the, the foreground, mid ground. Also the hands are like somewhat on the mid ground, I would say, or foreground maybe. And then there is this on top, feeling the, the sky. So there is um, one element here, two, three elements, three, a third layer, or maybe just why is, well, uh, I would say the comet on top is also like uh, on the third layer. I don't see like much distance, but then I have the mosque as a four element, and I include also the sky because it has a lot of, the sky has a lot of character, you know. So there are also on another line here, it's bringing me inside of the frame. So everything, I think everything is working and almost every space in the, in the, in the frame is filled with information that is relevant and it, everything is popping. So for me, this is a, this is a keeper. This is a shot that I'm, that I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna, um, um, and I'm gonna cherish, you know? For, because it was a nice day, a nice, like a gift from from heaven, you know, to me and especially my my students. Um, and um, yeah, anyway, so this is the way I go through my shots. So I hope this info is useful. And um, well, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate. It. And um, yeah, maybe see you next time. Um, cheers. Bye. Maybe you want you could the moon Yeah, go on and the moon But you want you could the moon Yeah, go on and the moon
doğru söyle Sevdiyeceğim adız Yar dillerin tuttuğum Kız dillerin